Hey, this is Mike. Very excited to show you 2014 Ram 1500 in black. Now this is a Laramie Limited truck, but it also has the new Eco Diesel, and this is the absolute first truck I've seen with the new Eco Diesel V6 engine. And this is amazing vehicle. Now I just got off the truck. It is not clean. Um, but I just wanted to make the video as soon as possible before this truck gets gone because the last diesel we had was in a Grand Cherokee and it lasted about two hours and I did not have a chance to do the video so if you can just excuse a little bit of dirt on it and show you it now look at that grill it's got the front sensors projector headlights cool looking grill now I'm going to start it up with a remote start. It may not run very long because it's not a doesn't have a whole lot of fuel in it. But listen to the engine. It's not very loud. It's not like a normal diesel engine where it's like extremely loud. You can hear a little bit. I'm going to look I'm going to look under the hood while it's running before the video is over, so just to let you know. Laramie Limited. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. I can use the key, but I can also... This is a uh, proximity key, and to where I can lock and unlock the doors. I'm going to lock the door like that. I can unlock the door just by putting my hand here on the handle. It senses my the key in my pocket and my hand there. So I can open it up. You see that the inside of the door has got some nice embellishments there. Got some bottle holders, pockets everywhere. Has some nice ebony wood grain trim there, and it's real wood. There's the um, the power seat for the passenger. You can see he has some filigree embellishments there in the seat. This is limited right there. This opens up glove compartments. You have a pocket there that fits a full size file folder. You do have heated and cooled seats here in the front. Here's the back seat. Here's the inside of the back door. Just as fancy, just as nice as the front door. It's not skimping on anything back here. Seats look amazing. Nice black interior, black exterior. This has the um, the premium Alpine sound system and the amplifier and the subwoofers here underneath the seat. There's a cup holder there. Check out those floor mats. Really nice. Got this right there. You got your heated seats back here in the back. Power supply there your vents there's some floor vents there now this is a crew cab truck so it has the floor storage and this I can do it one handed comes out and you can dump it and use it for storage put it back in there and it's completely out of the way underneath the floor mat and you do have storage underneath the seat on the other side as well as that storage in the floor there Back of the seats has these like um, these buckles here. This magnetic, pretty cool looking. You got the rim there on the side of the headrest. That's pretty neat. Handles have like a leather wrapping to them. Awesome wheels. Now back here you've had the sensors in the back as well as the front. There's your backup camera lens. You see it says limited. There's the towing package. 4x4. Four four. This has a spray-in bed liner. Right here from the factory. That way you don't have to worry about any kind of moisture getting underneath a plastic bed liner. Really looks good too.
pretty much the same view on this side. You got the fancy door. Speakers. You got speakers up here too. In the top. That's to put a license plate on the front of the vehicle. This lifts up. In addition to the storage underneath the seat here, but you also, this is pretty deep, keeps things from rolling around. You also have this uh, fold flat floor system. It's on the other side too, in that case, just in case you want to put a box or something back here if it's raining and you don't want to put use the back of the truck. So that's a handy feature. Really like this, these belt buckled looking things. The ram symbol on them. Press with that. And this threshold. A shiny rim. Go diesel. Does have the heated side mirrors. Now here's the inside of the driver's door. You got your pockets there at the bottom, as well as here. Nice big speaker there. So sharp looking. Now you do have your, you know, your normal window controls, door lock controls side mirror controls but you also have a folding folding side mirrors too so I can fold them make them go in and out like that now we do have automatic headlights here you have adjustable pedals you can adjust those in and out with that switch there there's your seat controls you have a power seat lumbar support as well as uh, two presets Amazing looking truck. Everything about it is just top top of the line type stuff here. Alright, since I use a remote start, I still have to push this button to start it up. Or I mean, not to start up, but to turn everything on on the inside. Do you have the heated steering wheel? You do have real wood here on the steering wheel. And it's real grippy. The rest of it is leather wrapped stitched there's your gauges your DEF fluid is right here your diesel fuel is on the right side miles per hour tachometer temperature oil pressure now right in the middle you have a, a screen and you can customize it I'm going to kind of scroll through just to give you an idea of what kind of information you can get and go back here and scroll to the right I'm using these buttons here to scroll through it for you now this one does have let's see let me go back uh, let's go back right here air suspension um, this does have the air suspension system on it which is really neat I'll show you that in a second there's some buttons that control that they're up here um, normal we're, at, we're set at normal height all right so I'm going to scroll through a little bit more because there's lots and lots of stuff here I'm going to go kind of fast just so you can get an idea there's your trips media all right so just to give you an idea, we, do, we are facing southwest as a digital compass. Digital tempers on temperatures on the top right. This truck has 22 miles on it. Now back to the steering wheel, we do have your cruise control settings right here. Uh, we have an eight-speed transmission in it. There's your shifter, and you can shift the gears using the, the gear up and gear down button there. Okay. Radio is on. I'm going to change the station. On the back of the steering wheel here is a volume button. I can adjust the volume up and down. On the back of the steering wheel on this side is the change of stations. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume back down. Just want to demonstrate those. And you know what the buttons are for. Those are for the, the menu there. Now right up above here is your your voice recognition button you can basically tell the vehicle to call a certain number once you pair your phone or tune to a certain station this button here is to answer and hang up your phone once it's paired your Bluetooth phone once it's paired with the system windshield wipers are there 
there's your push button start now with the proximity key you can enter the vehicle exit the vehicle lock it up using the key without the key in your hand you just have the key in your pocket you can also start the vehicle putting your, putting your foot on the brake and push that button so you can actually not take the key ever out of your pocket there's the Alpine sound system badge up there you do have a little pocket here that says RAM and it has some ebony wood around it here's your Uconnect system now right now it's on radio it does have satellite radio that comes with a full year with a new truck AM FM that good stuff now your media um, it does have a, a CD player which I'll show you in a second USB import auxiliary input um, SD card input as well as Bluetooth this is where your ventilated seats are um, there's some more buttons for those too but you can access them through here heated and ventilated seats heated steering wheel here climate control you can set your your buttons there your temperature like that we also have more buttons for this in case you don't want to use a screen here's your navigation you can set a destination or you can view the map really easy to read map um, and really easy to set a destination there's your phone uh, controls this is where your phone book and all that stuff will be and your favorites there at the top you connect apps once you um, once you registered you can uh, it has cool things like travel link to where you can see the uh, nearest fuel the fuel prices in your area movie listing sports stuff like that weather and also you can set it up as a Wi-Fi hotspot your vehicle and um, so there's a lot of a lot of cool things or apps so you can you know get more apps or less apps depending on what you want some of them are paid some of them are free down here you can also turn the screen off if it's just distracting you while you're driving now you do have some redundant buttons your volume button is here your, your tune your radios here right in here is your climate control buttons these are all extra buttons in addition to your touch screen full wheel drive controls are down here shifter is there I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse real fast before I forget to show you what the backup camera looks like. Now as I turn the steering wheel, I'm turning the wheel now, you can see those lines move. Those lines give you an estimated trajectory of the truck as you're backing up. And it does have the sensors here which you'll have an indicator here on the screen when you put it in reverse. And it'll start beeping at you if you get close to something and give you an idea of how far away you are. And also when you're going forward, it'll has the sensors as well. Down here are some more buttons. This is where your air ride suspension is. You can raise the entire truck or lower the entire truck right there. Your heated seats, cooled seats, heated steering wheel buttons are there. Traction control is always on unless you turn it off here. You do have a tow and haul button in case you're hauling a heavy trailer. Um, your rear parking brake sensors, I mean, you can turn those off or the front just in case you know you're going to get close to something and you don't want it beeping at you. You have a pocket there, pocket there, little place to put business cards there, cup holders, little storage pocket here. Here's your um, AC adapter right there in case you want to plug in a laptop or a phone and charge it. You have a little storage pocket there. Here's your armrest, really fancy stitched armrest. The words limited written in it. This lifts up. It's like a clamshell design. You have a nice big area to put like a tablet or a small laptop. Here's your SD card input, auxiliary input, and USB. You also have a USB charger right there to the right. This whole thing lifts up. You have a big storage bin right here. You also see your CD player, which is right there. It has an auto dim rear view mirror. Right in here is your garage door controls. This little thing here is an infrared sensor for your climate control. This is your sliding rear glass. That opens and closes with that button. You do have some tap lights in case you just need to quickly look at something. Now it does have a sunroof and you can control it. You can push the vent button here and vent it and close it. You can slide it open like so. Pretty neat. Visors have mirrors and lights in them. Same thing on the other side. And I really like this little rubber grip here on the handles. It's a nice touch. 
first time I've ever seen that. And speaking of first time seeing something, let's check out the engine. Floor mats are cool too, by the way. They have limited right there. They're just really classy looking. Three four zero liter turbo diesel, eco diesel. It's dirty. It's, it's uh, pollen season right now, but I wanted to show you as soon as I laid eyes on it. Not a very loud engine for a diesel. And I'm going to try to do a road test video if possible, but um, keep an eye out. I'll try to do that if I can, if it doesn't sell first. All right, there you have it. I'm sure I probably missed over some stuff. It's starting to rain right now. If you have any questions, my phone number and email address will be in the description. See you next time.